the meat that we had on flow track and the emergence of a new American steeple star. That's right. I said it. A steeple star. Courtney Wayman of BYU, her first steeple since 2017. What does she do, Gordon? What does she do? She runs 931.37, puts her fourth on the NCAA list behind who? Well, Courtney Frerichs, Jenny Simpson, Emma Coburn, and Colleen Quigley, the big four of American women's steepling. She's already there in just her first race again since 2017. She had good competition in this race, theoretically, with Hannah Steelman, who is an All-American herself, very credentialed runner, and Weymouth just ran away with this thing. I think we are going to see Weymouth break the collegiate record this year, Gordon, when she gets another chance to run it. I think she's going to kind of bridge that gap that we're going to see once the Coburn, Frerichs, Quigley era, when it ends eventually, which is not going to be anytime soon. But Weymouth right there with, with Ali Ostrander already in terms of PBs. And what you get from Weymouth, Gordon, is you get somebody who's good on the flat already, right? Like we talked about her being a 5,000 meter favorite. So if you take the fastest woman or one of the fastest women already in the flat five, or when you go back to the indoor season, the NCAA champion in the flat three, and then you put her in the steeple, this is the, the result that you get. So Weymouth, big favorite. Steeple on the women's side this year is sneaky good in the NCAA. We talked about Camelli running 937 this year, but Weymouth is the, the top of the list. I think she's going to be a factor when, you, when it comes time for the trials as well, too. You put a lot of uh, trust in a 931 steepler to like not only improve Debut. by another eight eight seconds and then be re- already in the conversation with the Quigleys and Coburns and Frericks of this world. Well, I mean, no, she I'm did saying have a good indoor season, but like she didn't like run like 920. I'm not saying she's going to beat them in the trials. I said she's going to factor in the trials. Okay. I think obviously top. I mean, top five is a possibility. You think top five is out of the question for the trials? Oh, yeah. I mean, anyone can get fourth. That's yeah. the top three are the, the known, and then anyone could be fourth in that race. So, and if you run 931, you are, you can be fourth. Uh, mm-hmm. But, I mean, she didn't get the one thing that, that, not to, she didn't get the standard out of it. So, we do know she has to run another fast race to try to get mm-hmm. the Olympic standard. And maybe she will, you know, push it at NCAAs, or maybe she'll try to run. NCAA prelims really quick. Uh, but, yeah, you're right. I mean, Courtney Wayman, what was her PB before this race? 10 something. Doesn't matter. It ten. Start with a 10. <laughs> That's wild to go that long without steepling and go from – then all of a sudden – like, do how do you even remember how to steeple if you don't yeah. go for that long? Like, did, Was she still, like, practicing steepling, or was she, like, taking, like, a whole four-year sabbatical off of even going over barriers? Do you know? I don't think she had been going over many barriers until this past season. And that's why I think the collegiate record is going to go down this year, just because the rep of doing the race the second time is going to help immensely. Because it's not like you, steeplers aren't doing like mock steeples in practice in the same way that 5,000 runners aren't doing mock 5,000s all out in practice. But steeple, there's the added technical element, there's the added time over the barriers. So if you put her in a race with Camelli and have another race under her belt, I think you're just going to see a huge bump up because if the last time you ran it was four years ago and you're running 10, you're a completely different runner now. So your experience running it is not, not really tr- perfectly transferable to where you're at right now, which is why I'm so optimistic on what she's going to do the rest of the, the rest of the season. We should mention that this race almost didn't even happen. The yes. men's yeah. and women's steeple at the West Coast Relays almost got canceled. 